Graduation means another school year has just ended. But all things do not end here. New chapter in the learners' academic lives have yet to unfold. For you graduates, this culminating stage prepares you to embrace greater challenges that lie ahead of you. For parents, you will be witnessing your children rip the sweet fruits of their endeavor, their diplomas. This school year has been challenging due to the new normal mode of learning. Despite the challenges, our learners have successfully finished school year 2020-2021 through the combined effort and passion of the administrators, teachers, parents, guardians, and other stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all. The pleasure is ours to welcome all of you to the sixth Moving Up ceremony of Junior High School and fourth commencement exercises of Senior High School of Stanza National High School with the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Let us pay homage to our dear motherland through the singing of our national anthem to be followed by the Pangasinan hymn and division hymn.
the presence of our Lord as we listen to the opening prayer of Juris M. Soriano, 12 GAS student with high honors. Let us bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, the author and the source of all life, you graciously sacrifice your life for us. Our life comes from you, which is precious and solid. As we start our virtual graduation ceremony, may we humbly ask your blessing to our school officials, faculties and staffs, and students to help us focus our energies and mind to what is truly strategic. As students who are the whole reason for this ceremony, please grant us the patience to perform our duties despite some difficulties, and grant us the strong and open minds and hearts that we may always listen and understand. that come from the heart are indeed powerful. Let us listen to Dr. Teresita J. Doria, Principal 2 of Stanza National High School, for her words of welcome. To the graduating students, the stars of this occasion, thank you for giving your best. As we emblazon this momentous circumstance for every high school student's life, fill with them with pride and feel their excitement as anyone else expected it to be, for it is the height of their success. To the students, you may have missed the fun and laughter of your usual interaction with your peers as you build memories to remember for a lifetime. You did never miss the opportunities to do your share in order to learn, despite the situation. For that, you deserve my warmest appreciation for you were able to survive this pandemic-threatened school year 
and many sleepless nights of anticipation and preparation for the daily challenges that life has to offer has finally come to an end. This event in your life, my dear graduates, signifies your maturity, your ability to cross multitudes of obstacles and reach a goal of unprecedented possibility. We can never deny the fact that you were in a situation no one from among us wanted it to happen. Yet, you made it today. For this reason, you deserve the loudest cheers. But an even louder applause is accorded to your parents for standing by you without fail. So if by this moment you were beside with your parents or your guardians, kindly give them the warmest hugs. So with that, let me end this message with this quote from Henry David Thoreau. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Again, in behalf of Istanza National High School, good luck everyone to your next journey. Congratulations, Batch 2021. To inspire us in this memorable occasion, let us hear the messages from our DepEd Secretary, Regional Director, Schools Division Superintendent, and Public Schools District Supervisor. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners 
are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone 
important. Someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics, 
and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. It is with great pleasure and admiration that I convey my best wishes and profound felicitations to all the graduates, completers, and academic awardees of the school year 2020-2021. The efforts you have exerted to accomplish your academic tasks in the difficult times are something worthy of praises. Graduation and moving up ceremonies are the much-awaited events in the life of every learner as they represent the golden times of reaching higher education and achieving dreams and aspirations. Definitely, the road you have taken is rough, but all the struggles are worth considering as they are the first few steps that will define your future success. Indeed, finishing this challenging school year during these trying times of COVID-19 pandemic is remarkable since it has been inevitable to face and accept the new normal landscape of education. It has been a school year of extraordinary hard work, dedication, and passion for all school leaders, teachers, learners, and parents in dealing and coping with chosen learning delivery modality to meet the most essential educational requirements. While it is admittedly difficult, you may take it positively as you have been given the opportunity to adapt to difficulties that have strengthened your innate potentials. Likewise, the incessant motivation and support of parents towards the seemingly thorny road to success caused by the global health crisis, as well as the strict obedience to various health and safety protocols have enormously pitched in to this moment of your graduation and completion. My dear graduates, completers, and awardees, you have just marked another significant milestone in your continued quest for excellence and successful future. Certainly, more challenges will still come your way. However, to hurdle this, you should stay focused and always remember that your dreams are within reach when you are determined and committed to realize them. My beloved parents, community officials, and other stakeholders, accept our heartfelt gratitude for the victory we have achieved today. Thank you for being an effective and efficient partners of the Department of Education 
in the implementation of distance learning. Your untiring support is a deeper reflection of the unconditional love you have bestowed to the learners through the years. Undoubtedly, you have greatly taken part in realizing the goals and objectives of DepEd's pivot to quality education under the Sulong Educalidad program. Our sincere commendations to all our DepEd officials, the school administrators, faculty members, and non-teaching staff for providing the highest degree of service para sa bata, para sa bayan. Finally, with this happy celebration of your graduation and completion, it is with confidence to say that you have given our team for this year strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic a very special meaning. Congratulations and have a wonderful graduation day and moving up ceremonies. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Lubos ang aking kagalakan na makapagbigay ng mensahe sa inyo, mahal naming mga magulang, guro, punong guro, at higit sa lahat, sa inyo, ating mga completers at graduates, Mula sa kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, grade 12, at sa ating learners from the alternative learning system na pumasa sa portfolio assessment. Ang tema ng ating end of school year rights ay kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Ang pandemya ang dulot ng COVID-19 ang nag sa lahat ng educational leaders na gumawa ng mga tough choices sa gitna ng tanong, paano mapapangalagaan ang kaligtasan ng mga guro at paano may hahatid ang edukasyon sa mga mag-aaral. Ayon nga kay Secretary Briones, education must continue even in times of crisis. Sa pagtutulungan nga ng mga magulang, mag-aaral, kaguruan at stakeholders na itawid natin ang school year 2020-2021. Tunay ngang napakalaga ng ating selebrasyon ng school year 2020-2021 because for the first time in history, the school and home have finally touched base together for a common aspiration. Nagpapatunay na malaki ang bahagi ng parental involvement sa academic achievement ng isang mag-aaral. As parents and teachers work together to address our children's needs, we're able to form a formidable team to combat ignorance and keep relevant values that every home and society cherries. Batid ko ang inyong mga pasakit at pinagdaanan, maitawid lamang ang inyong pag-aaral. Mental stress, dala ng independent learning, unstable internet connectivity, problema sa kahirapan ng buhay. Ngunit lahat ng ito ay napagtagumpayan ninyo. Ang inyong ipinakitang tibay ay kamangha-mangha. Ito ay nagpapakita ng katatagan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Lastly, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, please appreciate your parents. To be a good father and mother requires that the parents defer many of their own needs and desires in favor of the needs of their children. You never know what sacrifices they went through for you. Respect your teachers. Teachers spend most of their nights planning, most of their mornings explaining, most of their afternoons correcting, most of their years encouraging, most of their lives stressing what matters most in life, and it's all for your future. 
so that make their jobs more difficult. Congratulations to you, our precious children, parents, teachers, and school heads for continuously making the flames of education burn amidst the darkness of these times. Babuhay! Maligayang pagtatapos sa mga graduates at completers ng taong panuroang 2020 at 2021. Sa mga minamahal naming mga magulang, mga mag-aaral, mga guro at punong guro, isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ang araw na ito ay tunay na napakahalaga sa buhay ng mga magsisipagtapos at nararapat lamang na ipagdiwang natin ito ang kanilang tagumpay kasama ang kanilang mga magulang na walang sawang nagbigay ng suporta at gabay sa kanilang pag-aaral lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Bilang tagamasid pampurok ako ay laging handang magbigay ng technical assistance sa mga guro at punong guro sa pagganap ng kanilang mga tungkulin upang makamit ang ating misyon na maibigay ang di kalidad na edukasyon para sa lahat ng mag-aaral kahit may pandemya tulad ng COVID-19. Ang tema sa taong ito kalidad sa edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic ay nagbigay ng tatag sa mga guro na harapin ang kanilang karanasan at pamamaraan sa pagtuturo. Salamat sa Learning Delivery Modality Course na isinagawa ng Region Ono para sa lahat ng guro, punong guro, PSDS at EPS at naging handa tayo at nalagpasan ang mga pagsubok na kinaharap sa implementasyon ng iba't ibang distance learning. Sa mga magulang, alam ko at ramdam ko sa aking paglilibot o pag-iikot sa mga paralan ang inyong hirap sa distance learning mula sa pagkuha ng modules sa paralan at hirap sa mga walang internet o mahina ang signal ng internet. Salamat sa paggabay at pagtuturo sa inyong mga anak. Kaya binabati ko kayo sa inyong walang sawang suporta, sakripisyo at pagmamahal upang makatapos ang inyong mga anak. Sa mga magsisipagtapos, ipagpatuloy ninyo ang inyong pag-aaral para maabot ang inyong mga pangarap sa buhay. Gamitin ninyo ang mga natamong kaalaman, kasanayan at mabuting asal sa pagtungtong sa mataas na paaralan. Muli, ang aking mainit na pagbati sa mga graduates, kayong mga completers, hangad ko ang inyong tagumpay. Maraming salamat. Mabuhay ang Batch 2021 at God bless. The of every activity conducted in Stanza National High School is indebted to the joint effort of the faculty and staff of Stanza National High School headed by the school head, Dr. Teresita J. Doria. Communication Arts and ESP Department spearheaded by Mrs. Sonia C. Mamitag. Math and Science Department led by Dr. Maria Vilma V. Ocampo. Araling Palipunan MAPE and TLE Department headed by Mrs. Erlinda A. Mundo. 
the non-teaching staff of Stanza National High School. The most awaited part of the program has come, the presentation and confirmation of the candidates for graduation and completion. To present the candidates for graduation and completion is Dr. Teresita J. Doria, Principal 2 of Stanza National High School. To confirm the candidates for graduation and completion is Sir Felix G. Raimundo, Public Schools District Supervisor of Lingayong 2. Our school's division superintendent through the public schools district supervisor, Sir Felix G. Raimondo, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of his Stanza National High School for the school year 2020-2021. 22 of whom came from the technical vocational livelihood home economics run with four males and 18 females. 29 from the TDL Shielded Metal Art Building Strand with 25 males and 4 females. 46 from the General Academic Strand, 14 males and 32 females for a total of 97 graduating students. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the Enhanced Basic Education Curriculum, otherwise known as the K-12 program as prescribed by the Department of Education and the Republic Act 10.533. May I therefore request for the confirmation of their graduation. By the authority vested in me by our assistant schools division superintendent, officer in charge, office of the schools division superintendent, Dr. Eli E. Sobaldo, and acting upon the recommendation of your school head, Dr. Teresita G. Doria, that you have successfully completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. I, Felix G. Raimundo, Public Schools District Supervisor of Lingin II, hereby confirm you, graduates of the K-12 curriculum, of Estanza National High School this school year 2020-2021, dated July 16, 2021. Congratulations! Congratulations to the following graduates of Stanza National High School Batch 2021. General Academic Strand Advisor, Mr. Daniel P. Suminta. Asuncion Mark Joseph D. with honors. Bolasok Jomar M. Cruz Michael Vincent P. De La Cruz Macmel S. De Los Santos Daniel Gabriel T. Fernandez Earl John S. Garcia Fitzgerald D. Labrador John Patrick D. Polon Aproniano III G. Reparib Alvin Kyle Z. Soriano Jasper B. Soriano III Frederick A. Soriano Raymar C. Virai Jasmar D. Angeles Maricar B. Asab Ayla Jane O with honors. Bolaso Christine May F. Cancino Christine S with honors. 
Cruz Christine Joy L. with honors. Cruz Irish E. Cruzada Elena V. De Leon Kyla F. with honors. Diaz Krisha Joyce F. Dulce Christine Ruth P. with honors. Dulce Shira May P. Eristain Barbara A. with honors. Filarca Erica May T. Fernandez Mary Grace S. Galliardo Vanessa R. with honors. Hill Grisha Bea R. Maminta Angela I. with high honors. Marcoso Agnes with honors. Ordonia Christy Q. Orhalo Erica M. Peril Mary Joy M. Quintos Rica A. Santos Marivic R. Sindayen Melanie V. With honors. Sindayen Nicole E. Soriano Juris M. With high honors. Urbano Jamaica P. Urbano Jessica P. Villa Joanna Marie G. Villa Charisma Kem. Verai Angeline E. with honors. Vivero English Rose G. with honors. TBL Home Economics. Advisor, Mrs. Frisia D. Bolasok. Bolasok Aaron C. Manuel Michael R. Santillan Jericho V. Santillan Jumel V. Acosta Dendi C. Amante Riza M. Benitez Rizel May M. Castro Jolina F. Cruz Annabel V. With honors. Cruz Lady Loren S. with honors. Cruz Laika. Fernandez Ann Rose. Mamuyak Annalyn S. Ocampo Janela B. Perez Maribel P. Sindayen Roseann S. Soriano Christine D. Ugto Riza S. Versosa Flordeline D. Verai Hazel Joy C. Zacharias Queenie Joy M. 
Zacharias Rizalin F. TVL Shielded Metal Art Welding Advisor, Mrs. Michelle E. Pahavit. Asibido Raymond C. Alvaro John Ray S. Anid Carlo D. Anid Ulysses D. Aquino Mark. Aveles John Paul P. Bolasok Ivan C. Kabornai Regan C. Kamalig Bernardo Jr. N. Karunongan Joshua D. Cruzada Ariel N. De La Cruz Raymond De Malibot Aaron M Enrique Carlo R Fernandez Jeremy V Gutierrez Tonton P Mamuyak Michael R. Marcoso Ariel F. Padon Martin Angel S. Perez Renz S. Perez Vens S. Reyes Christian Alfred Sichon John Paul B Soriano Allen James V Ventanilla Troy S Aviles Joselle N Mendoza Anne Marie E. Ventanilla Ramica S. Villa Micaela Joyce L. Dr. Elias Ubaldo, our school's division superintendent, through the public schools district supervisor. Sir Felix G. Raimondo, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion of Estanza National High School for the school year 2020-2021, composed of 90 males and 67 females, for a total of 157 students. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the Enhanced Basic Education Program otherwise known as the K-12 program, as prescribed by the Department of Education and the Republic Act, 10.533. May I therefore request you to confirm their completion of the requirements of these candidates. By the authority vested in me by our assistant schools division superintendent, officer in charge, Office of the Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Eli S. Ubaldo, and acting upon the recommendation of your school head, Dr. Teresita G. Doria, that you have successfully completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education for secondary schools. I, Felix G. Raimondo, Public Schools District Supervisor of Lingin 2, hereby confirm you great team completers 
of Estanza National High School this school year 2020-2021 dated July 16, 2021. Congratulations! Lasso Anna Crystal V. Kamali Bernadette M. Diaz Katrina S. With honors. Dulce Nicole Joy C. With honors. Her fellow Jasmine O. Escaño Pia S. Estrada Irish Chloe T. With honors. Fernandez Rita Mae S. Maminta Katrina L. Manipur Vicky R. With honors. Navarro Nicole L. with honors. Santos Joan. Vila Judith G. Virai Alina E. Grade 10 Matapat Advisor, Mrs. Josephine B. Ramos Abalos Jun Carl P. Amante Raven N. Aviles Charlie Clark P. Bastawang Lovemore 
Rosada Razor Josh V. Fernandez Ronald Jr. S. Gabuna Lynn James. Garcia Jesus. Idos Christopher Troy V. Navarro R. Emmanuel C. With honors. Umbas Malvin S. Umbas Mark Melvin. Ruiz Raymond. Samson Philip Q. Santos Joros A. With honors. Sikat Erickson P. Sumera John Richard. Soriano Vincent Paul. Supnit Ralph Ivan M. With honors. Tandok Julio Jose B. Valencerina Ashley James. Veray Jerick D. With high honors. Alunsagay Riza N. With high honors. Kalanayan Rosalinda B. Castro Camille C. With honors. Ruth Shanil Ann M. With honors. Dizon Jamie C. With high honors. Geron Almanadin A. With honors. Ginto Mary Adrian Angel V. Ignacio Erica May M. With honors. Manzano Patricia Ann S. Marquez Darian V. Ocampo Aileen A. Simpson Janeline G. With honors. Quintana Eloisa Magdalene V. Urbano Riza D. With honors. Velasco Perlhana Chelsea V. With honors. Verai Janine Aleya C. With honors. Grade 10 Magalang. Advisor, Mrs. Christina V. Guarin. Aviles Rodson. Bautista Ashley Shane A. Bautista Daniel S. Bulasok CJ D. Bulasok Junior Rodrigo S. Datuin Jamron F. Di Guzman Junior Mario D. Di Los Reyes Mark Janel V. Fernandez Christian Mark F. Flores Godwin Luis. Dumibao Christian G. Martinez Kim Michael T. Ordonia Zyron Q. Queen Cruz Jimel S. 
Raandaan Junior Nicanor A. Salva Martin Joshua B. Santiago Brando G. Soriano Mark B. Tuazon Garci G. Ventanilla Brian D. Villa Jerwin C. With honors. Veray Jr. Arden B. Bayani Maricel. Bulasok Alwina C. Bulasok Jolina B. Katsuela Princess Nicole L. With honors. Portel Jamaica L. With high honors. The Tuwin Roshin Mary D. With honors. De La Cruz Justin R. Fernandez Flor de Luna S. Gahe Marjorie T. With honors. Manuel Trina Joy R. Navarro Gloria B. Parangat Angel Kim N. Season Riza A. Taloban Ana Paula M. Velasco Fatima B. Ventanilla Rina S. With honors. Verai Geraldine V. With honors. Grade 10 Maunawain. Advisor, Mrs. Violi C. Verai. Abad Kenneth J. V. With honors. Austria III Albert E. Cruz Michael Angelo. Costujo Carl Denzel A. David Justin B. De La Cruz Nathaniel D. Maliari Jester C. Navarro Gerald D. C. Navarro Justin O. Niala Irvi E. Ocampo Simon Cesar C. Pasakai J.R. R. With honors. Quintos Ricky A. Resuelio Joshua G. Santillan II Juanito N. With honors. Sindayen Raymond S. Soriano Jason V. Velasco Jarco P. Velasco Junjun J. Arboleda Mariel Y. Basa Romilin G. Bulasok Jasmine C. With honors. Cruz Kimberly Sheen V. Kunanan Jasmine S. 
David Crystalline Joy B. Frias Jaisel D. Hirulagen Erika S. Hizole Christine Nicole B. With honors. Janga Angel May V. Johnson Mary Kim Angela C. Rosario Trisha May B. Sindayen Cristala D. Sindayen Jenilyn M. Sindayen Melissa V. Versosa Michelle S. With honors. Virai Christine Joy E. Zacharias Cyril C. Zacharias Realiza F. To introduce our guests of honor and speaker, let us welcome Mrs. Rochelle and De Guzman. Good afternoon to everyone. Today, despite the hassles of this pandemic, the Stanza National High School holds its fourth senior high school commencement exercises and moving up ceremony with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. And for this significant and joyous event, ENHS is honored by the virtual presence of one who is worthy of emulation. Though it seems unbelieved with this young man's great achievements in life, still, I'm so happy to be in one way or the other part of his meaningful life as I introduce him to you all. This great man started his journey to academic life in Malampuk Elementary School, his humble barangay where he graduated in 1995 with honors. He continued his secondary education at Stanza National High School where in 1999 he graduated as first honorable mention. He furthered his studies at STI College in Santa Mesa, formerly known as Shaw, where he earned a diploma in computer technology in 2005. Being successful in the academy, he also extended his life to various activities and interests, such as conducting community services, volleyball club recognized by the Philippine Embassy and from 2019 to the present he is the president of the Desert Smashers Club in Saudi Arabia which is also an all Filipino badminton club with over 200 members duly recognized by the Philippine Embassy under ASCO. Bountiful blessings and greatness keep on coming for this man. And to enhance further higher achievements in life, he attended various certifications and trainings. To name a few are IMS Internal Auditor, Certified ISO Internal Auditor, Advanced Human Resources Strategic Business Strategy, ISO Internal Awareness and Risk Assessment Business Communication for Effective Business Management and Advanced Secretarial and Office Administration Skill And 
undeniably, our guest of honor and speaker, even his younger years, was truly a workaholic man. He never stopped to working and learning, proving that time is really precious. From 2003 to 2004, he was the sales accountant executive of the Peninsula Manila, Ayala Avenue, Manali City. From 2004 to 2005, as sales accountant executive of Edsa Shangri-La Hotel, Ortigas Center in Pasig City, and became the executive assistant to the program manager in 2005 to 2007. Then, from 2007 to 2015, he was the corporate services coordinator or the executive assistant to the chairman and managing director. And from 2015 to the present, he's the senior business administrator at Saudi Engineering Group International, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where he oversees and coordinates various implementations of management decisions, activities, and customers' requirements through various key departments in the group of companies. He supports the management executive's requirements, reporting and briefing for various key department activities that require management attention and decision making. He also coordinates with overseas recruitment partners, international capability partners, and key clients for support and management of projects in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He participates in contract assessment and performance for existing projects and project forecasting for new projects, networking with industry peers, competitors, and prospective clients. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you our guest of honor and speaker in today's virtual commencement exercises and moving up ceremony. The man with a great mind, a man with a big heart, a man of action and hard work, Engineer Pasadito Aquino Fernandez. Good morning and hello from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is my singular honor and privilege to be chosen as your guest of honor and speaker in today's graduation day and moving up ceremony for the school year 2020-2021. I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to all the graduates and completers, the proud parents, as well as the school officials, faculty members, and non-teaching staff of Estanza National High School headed by Dr. Teresita J. Doyle. Amidst this crisis, we rediscovered that our will to learn, the will of the teachers to educate, and the will of the parents to provide a better future for their children is as important as keeping us safe during this pandemic. We find ways despite our limited resources, the lagging internet connection, the scarcity of equipments and gadgets, and the shortage of paper supplies. This does not discourage us to facilitate the essential educational requirement for the students. The pandemic has tested the resolve of billions of people around the world. The effects of COVID-19 is no greatness of a country, no riches, no race, no boundaries. The pandemic showed us we are all equal, and I always believe that we are all equal, and all of us have equal opportunities. Your economic standing, social status, educational attainment does not define your person. You get the same equal shots as others. All you have to do is to rise above the occasion and challenge yourself and create this unfortunate situation of yours into an inspiration. Dream, and when you dream, be bold and be brave. Look for your inspiration not in the Marvel or DC characters that you love nor the Korean drama you've watched recently. Your inspiration is at your eye level and within your reach. It can be your parents, 
who are uncertain that you will not be able to uh, graduate today but sent you to school anyway. To the proud parents, I have nothing but admiration to all your hard work and sacrifices. Back in the day, my parents have to work many times harder to make ends meet. And I assume many of you are in a difficult situation as, a, as an immediate effect of this pandemic. An OFW myself, there may be a lot of moms and dads who are sacrificing being away from home to provide for their families, further complicated by this pandemic. I thank you for your hard work and unconditional love. Thank you for going extra miles to become a vital partner of the school and the Department of Education in the implementation of online or distance learning. And to our dear teachers, the school administrators and then teaching staff, this has been an experience like no other. Central to this endeavor, you are quintessence of unconditional love by bringing out the best in the hope of our future, bringing the high quality of service to the nation for our children despite these challenges is a manifestation of your dedication, hard work, and contribution to nation building. It is a further step forward in achieving this year's theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. I believe that we all have a solemn duty to contribute to this undertaking. As the world is constantly changing, a continuous and concerted effort by the government, the school officials, the parents, and the students will better equip us and prepare in, God forbid, another pandemic. Change is inevitable. Change comes slowly and then suddenly. What matters is your readiness once it reveals itself, its challenges and the opportunities the change presents. Prepare to walk on the door when it opens, or by your own purpose and power to open it yourselves. Change, challenges, and opportunities. That is life as we know it. You can look forward to an amazing time in the future. Just like the way I did 22 years ago, the rain poured in the middle of our graduation day, but that didn't dampen my soul. So I sheltered to my late mother's umbrella and she looked at me and said, Blessing tan anako. Indeed, it was. The, this pandemic may have brought us added worry for in the future, but don't let this rain stop you. Their graduates and completers, the future, though bright, is profoundly uncertain. Let not uncertainty take your focus away from your dream. And with your determination, courage, and commitment, this myriad of uncertainties will not deter you in achieving your dreams. During my time working in the Philippines and in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, character says a lot about a person. I believe that the character you build during your time in school is what will shape you in the future. With you, the graduating class of 2021 and completers of school year 2020-2021 who have, who have been through so much, have an opportunity to change the path from one of the convenient forgetting and wield amnesia to one of reckoning and remembrance in order to contain this extraordinary experience and shape your future. Be resilient, be patient, and be respectful. Respect especially you to your elders. On that note, I wanted to pay my respect to my parents, Mr. Esteban I. Fernandez and Angelina M. Aquino. They are my source of inspiration and strength throughout the years. I wanted to pay my respect as well to all the parents of the graduates and completers and to all the teachers to whom I have an opportunity to learn from. Mrs. Mamitag, Mrs. Escanio, Mrs. Ferrer, Mrs. Baray, Mrs. Manuel, Mrs. De Leon, Mrs. Garcia, Mr. and Mrs. Sindayin, and to the school head Dr. Doria and the rest of the faculty and non-teaching staff, I salute you for all your sacrifices, dedicated service, hard work and courage during this extraordinary time. Finally, dear graduates, look for that horizon, that silver lining that if you do not discover it will forever remain a secret. Look for the treasure that if you don't uncover it, you'll regret you never discover it. Look for the mystery that if you don't unravel it will be forever a mystery. In other words, be curious, be open-minded, and explore what your future will lead you into. Success is not defined by wealth, 
but of the sense of contentment and happiness you achieve in pursuing your dreams. Again, again my warmest congratulations to all of you on your graduation day and moving up ceremony. In the midst of the celebration, let us not forget to glorify and praise His name. I wish you all well and have a great day and I look forward in meeting all of you in person very soon. Thank you and God bless you all. Honor students are always acknowledged for exerting extra effort in their studies. On behalf of the awardees, may we lend our ears to Angela I. Maminta, 12 GAS student, for her message. Principal Dr. Teresita J. Toria, faculty members, teachers, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, Today is the day to be thankful and to be inspired. My heartfelt congratulations to all of my fellow graduates on achieving a significant milestone in our academic careers. This is a day to reflect on and appreciate our tenacity, sweat, and tears that went into the hard work that has led to our achievement. Each of us has had our own distinct experiences at Stansa National High School, including a mix of good and bad moments, laughing and joy, school spirit, and of course, last-minute preparation for the quizzes. Kasama na riyan ang mga nakakabihin naming bosses sa tuwing break time or kung wala si mom or sir. Paghingi ng katabi ko ng papel kapag may surprise quiz at pagkuha ng ballpen o lapis ng walang paalam. Ilan ito sa mga hindi ko malilimutang pangyayari bilang mag-aaral ng Stanza National High School. Bilang isang estudyante at mamamayan ng bansa, isa sa kinakaharap natin ngayon ay ang kumakalat na sakit na kung tawagin ay coronavirus disease or COVID-19. Nagsara ang halos lahat ng establishmento, kasama na riyan ang mga paralan, na lubos na nakaapekto sa ating mga mag-aaral. Subalit, gumawa pa rin ang ating gobyerno ng paraan upang maipagpatuloy natin ang ating pag-aaral kahit tayo ay nasa ating tirahan. Isinugal ng ating mga guro ang kanilang kalusugan upang maihatid ang mga leksyon sa atin. Kayo lubos kami nagpapasalamat sa mga magigiting na guro Kasama na rin ang mga pagulang dahil sa di matatawarang kabayanihan sa paghahatid ng karunungan sa aming mga mag-aaral. Graduation bring us to the end of yet another incredible chapter in our lives. We all have our own unwritten book of life and each day that passes is another page that we add to it. As Stanza National High School graduates, we were provided with all the paper and ink we would require to write our own stories. We must be proud of who we are, Stansa National High School graduates who are educated, resourceful, and above all, capable of making substantial contribution to today's ever-changing world. Thank you family and friends for being with us today and throughout our life. Thank you parents for being our coaches. Thank you friends for being our teammates. And teachers for being our mentors. Let us also give thanks to the doctors and nurses and all frontliners who are battling against the disease and helping the sick people. Let us strive to be the best we can be to bring happiness and pride to our lives and lives of those closest to us. Now, it's time to continue on our trip and start building our futures. Once again, my heartiest congratulations to the class of 2021. Go forth and accomplish great things in this world. And again, thank you, our beloved Stanza National High School. To conclude this significant event, let us listen to the closing remarks of our faculty president, Mr. Nelson C. Alunsagay. To all the graduates present here today in this momentous event, 
I commend you for the hard work you put in reaching what you have achieved today. As graduates, do not think that learning will stop here. Treat this graduation day as a gateway to a higher level of learning. As young adults, a new task is at hand. To better understand your craft, master it, and possibly achieve great things doing so. Same time, you will need to learn how to face real life hardships in your jobs, family affairs, and social life. There will always be trouble along the way, but with all that has been said, do not see tomorrow with a dim light for what lies beyond this day. Could be the highlight of your lives. They will deserve fruit of all your labor from elementary to college. Remember that money is earned and is spent but experience and wisdom through dedication, hard work, and a strong faith will take your places and give you happiness that no amount of money can buy. And finally, I would like to congratulate your parents for a job well done in raising such successful students. Good day, God bless, and God speak. Again, congratulations, Batch 2021.